We are now going to discuss the immune system and the basic functions of the elements that comprise the immune system. The blood is the major organ in the body that comprises the immune system and its ability to ward off infection. The body has many types of blood cells. Chief among these are the white blood cells that are themselves divided into several subcategories. The white blood cells are those which are directly responsible for fighting off infection, and they comprise a number of subsets. White blood cells are responsible for immunity, and they are responsible as well for the body's defense mechanisms that fight infections that are a variety of different types. These include bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and viruses. Phagocytes are a major type of cell in the body responsible for immunity as well. These are responsible for the engulfment and consummation of foreign particles. The phagocytes literally can eat foreign bodies that include viruses. Lymphocytes are a major component of the immune response. These are responsible for specific immune responses that can be divided into several types. Lymphocytes constitute the primary arm of the immune system. They are responsible for immunity against all types of pathogens, and their ability to respond to infectious organisms can be divided as well among several subsets of cells. The B cells, or B lymphocytes, are cells that produce antibodies. These cells are also among those that can present antigens to the T cells. And these are cells that are stimulated by the CD4 lymphocyte population and by viral antigens. The CD8 cells are referred to as cytotoxic T lymphocytes. These are cells that can destroy other cells, which in fact become infected by viruses. They can also suppress the T and B cell response once an infection has taken place, so that the immune system can be enabled to return to normal status. CD4 cells are called helper cells. These are cells that can control and direct the immune response. CD4 cells recognize foreign antigens and can send chemical signals to other cells, thereby activating the immune system. Naive cells are ones that can respond to new antigens, and these cells can then become memory cells that in turn can maintain long-term immunity or memory in regard to antigens and infectious agents that have previously been seen or recognized. CD4 cells are primary target of HIV. Hence, these various components of the immune system not only play individual roles in regard to orchestrating the immune response, but in addition, each of these cell types can interact with one another to either amplify immune responses or alternatively, they can sometimes dampen immune responses so as to render those responses less effective than they otherwise would be. Thus, the immune system is a constantly evolving and dynamic system. And it is this very essence of the immune system that at once renders it so wonderfully able to respond to a wide array of antigens and infectious agents that all of us confront in nature, but at the same time renders it so susceptible to infection by HIV which can then destroy the immune system so rapidly in the absence of antiviral therapy and render people who are infected by HIV prone to all types of infection that can, in fact, be life-threatening.